Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia, here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Beatrice. Hi, everybody. We're here to talk about those Mormon moms on Mom Talk, oh. i.e. the secret lives of Mormon wives. So good. We're going through it a little bit behind when everybody else watched it. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It's still good. I don't know if you're watching it on Hulu. You should. It's real good. It's lit. I'm enjoying myself I'm quite really a liking lot. It. Yeah. Before we get into episode two, we do want to remind you to please hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically in- Correct podcast. We say a lot of dumb shit. Yeah. Oh God, I swore before the thirty Who seconds. Cares? All right, YouTube, go ahead and demonetize me. You think I care? I don't care. Suck my dick. I'm a rabid raccoon. <laughs> but we say a lot of dumb shit, and yeah. we're not going to apologize. No. And so if you're so funny, old, why are you here? You might want to find yourself a different dumpster or Bye. a different podcast. We're not for you. Yeah. Shockingly. Ew. But if you are ready to party and talk about some Mormon moms and cheating and vibrators and such, <laughs> then welcome. To this dumpster. Yeah, and if you are down to party with us, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Reality TV Cringe and join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash reality TV Cringe. We have a lot of good, juicy stuff up so on there. So much good stuff. I mean, hundreds of audios and videos, oh extra God. content. If you have a few days and you just want to oh. lie around in your bed and eat snacks yes. and drink wine and watch some fat raccoons, girl, it's the best thing. It I'm is telling great. you. Yeah. Um, also, if you are watching on YouTube, first of all, hi. hi. We love you so much. You look beautiful today. Yes. Um, please do not forget, however, to like and comment and share and subscribe. Subscribe, please. Please. <laughs> so many of you who watch don't actually subscribe. Yeah, and what are you really, doing? It hurts my feelings. For real. We're it trying to get to 4,000. <laughs> so don't forget to do all of those things. Please and thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's get into this shit. Get right into mom talk. Girl, episode two starts off strong because it's 11 months later after Taylor gets arrested. So I told you before, uh, right, that Taylor was supposed to be kind of a secondary character, God. even though apparently she's the one who founded mom talk. But like because of the things that happened with the swingers <laughs> and the arrests and the, all the things that she's been through, they brought her back and then they started centering her and featuring her. Yeah. And so now we see her 11 months later after the first episode. Big and heavy pregnant. With Heavy, heavy with child. Heavy with child. Yes. And now here, here she is at the center of attention again. Yes. And she's got kind of a different air to her. Like it seems like the arrest was a wake up call for her. Okay. I mean, she's saying it is. She says it's a wake up call. She's trying to be more spiritual in her Mormon faith, going to church. Sure. Trying to change her life around. She hit rock bottom because everybody was filming her after her arrest. And Good. Putting it on TMZ. She got charged with fucking aggravated assault and yeah. has three years probation. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you ruined your life. Like, what the heck? I mean, yeah, it's bad. You threw a metal chair and it hit one of your children. You were also taken like, in for child endangerment. I don't know if you were ultimately charged with that. You might have pled that down. But like, that's shitty behavior, Taylor. And you're pregnant with an ex-fentanyl addict's baby. Who's a cheater. Who's allegedly a cheater. And calls you a slut, I guess. And a whore and this stuff. This goober. Oh, my God. This derp. When this Macy dud. Was talking about that. I'm like, this loser is calling Taylor a whore. All of these women are the breadwinner. I know. As we have established. All of these young women Every are making hundreds one. of thousands, if not millions of dollars. They've all got deadbeat, dumbass husbands. Yes. And you're going to presume not even being a husband, Dakota, to call this woman a slut? When she's pregnant with your love child because you're too stupid to pull out? Do you even have a job? No. Who are you? No. With your highlighted hair? I hate him. He's high on and fentanyl. Un employed a-hole <laughs> he's a loser why why do beautiful women end up with dudes like this what has Girl. he got dick ew yeah mm. you know that mm. impotent man mm. patrons know that story okay i need you to stop <laughs> i saying. need you to stop <laughs> But then we have the mom talk girls getting together to create content and therefore also talk shit about Taylor and her mm -hmm. arrest, namely Whitney, who's apparently so worried about the reputation of mom talk and the culture that they've founded and on not TikTok. your gay husband being on grinder yeah yeah <laughs> not worried about that though literally did you watch meat canyon's video on all of this no he just came out with a video on YouTube meat canyon he's hilarious he 
straight up called Connor Gay. No. Yes. So I'm not the only one You've who got thinks to he's send a fake me those links homo. in the WhatsApp. I'll send it to you. Oh my God. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, so he called him gay too. So it's not just me, girl, but he was totally on Grinder. Yeah, but Whitney's trying to start gossip. She seems like a mean girl. Yes. She's taking advantage of Taylor not being around that much because she's pregnant now again mm-hmm. with Dakota's love child. Yeah. And so she's trying to maneuver herself as the, the center of the group. Yes. And also take the heat off of her for yes. being the one that was twerking in the hospital with her dying kid. Right. <laughs> Oh my God. Like, with a gay fuck? husband like seriously you're also a terrible person uh, but anyway so they're creating content for mom talk because they have a job to do this is a real job for hi them. i mean they've got brand deals to worry about beatrice they do though i mean they I make know. so much money twenty thousand dollars for promoting a vibrator I why mean, are we doing that? that we should be doing that <laughs> i don't want to do that though <laughs> I'll totally do that. You'll post a photo of I will post a photo. A I will make a video. I will talk about my then experience with a vibrator. Stop honey. it. A woman of a certain <laughs> age can appreciate a vibrator. Stop it. Absolutely. I don't want to hear about that. I know you like vibrators. I don't know why your friend <laughs> like God. that. Come on now. <laughs> I hear you through the walls. Stop <laughs> it. I can't. She's so Did red. You? You're so red. This is how she talks to me Sorry. every day. I'm abused over here. Stop it. Oh, my God. Well, we're skipping ahead. Whitney got a brand deal to propone a vibra- vibrator. Mm-hmm. And all of the Mormon girls are like, <gasps> scandalized by it because they're good Mormon women. Are they? Not swingers. Okay. They are, though. But... They don't want to promote a sex toy. Mm-hmm. I think two of the girls, like it was like Macy and Layla, they were like, yeah, get your bad girl. Like, that's fine. Like, whatever. But all the other Mormon women were judging Whitney for mm-hmm. even entertaining the idea of promoting sex toys. Right. And Whitney's trying to make it like, um, I want to empower Mormon women whatever. who are in this sort of repressed religious system that, you know, they can take their sexuality and their pleasure into their own hands and we should be able to talk about it we should be able to do that i mean that's fair i guess because that's not why you're doing it exactly you're doing it because they're paying you twenty thousand dollars to hold up a purple dildo literally that's why <laughs> and post it on instagram yeah i mean and please yeah get your bag do it that's totally but, fine. like be honest about yeah. it it's not because of mormonism or, exactly right we also get to meet do you think they have to use the vibrator above the underwear <laughs> above the mormon underwear or beneath can you go know. beneath the i don't know are they allowed to so when i'm not trying Is there to be scripture? heretical i'm not mormon <clears throat> and i also think it's ludicrous but do they have like openings in their underwear do they have to have sex in their underwear well i think you can't masturbate in mormonism i what? think that's like a sin or something what I think that's a sin. I could never be a Mormon. Girl, Beatrice. I know. I could never. With all the smut you read, girl, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's why they have soaking and stuff like Ew. that. Like, okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not allowed. Okay. Pretty sure Mormon. Oh, so, so underwear doesn't have like no access po- okay uh-uh. got it you got to save that for marriage with your gay husband. Okay, but <laughs> when they're married, do they take off their underwear when they have sex? Yeah. Or like, does the I underwear so. have like boob holes? No, and I like don't think it's that holes? restrictive. Okay, no. what about the booty? No. <laughs> I think the underwear is just like a modesty thing. Okay. Like you can't be wearing G-strings and stuff. What does it look like? It's, it's like, like shorts. Is it shorts? It's yeah. not like, wow. It's like boy shorts and do stuff. Do people actually do that? I think so. It's so weird that somebody would think God would hand down an edict that says you got to wear long underwear or else you're not holy. Yeah. But well, I mean, that's no different than Christianity where you couldn't eat like animals with cloven feet and wear certain fabrics it's all stupid it's no offense. all dumb I apologize yeah well we said we were stupid <laughs> <laughs> and had bad opinions yeah. but i'm standing by that one no i agree 100 percent. but yeah so she's gonna promote a vibrator and then we meet during this scene we meet two new mormon wives that we didn't get to meet last episode layla right and jen affleck yeah and jen affleck if you didn't know her husband is the second cousin of Ben Affleck. Which I think has since been disavowed. Yeah, which is so stupid. And Jen Affleck wants you wants you to know that her middle name is Lynn. And so she's the second J Lynn J Lo 
Affleck. Yeah, because J Lo's got the same name. Well, for now, <laughs> she's getting divorced from Ben Affleck. But I yeah. think it's way more interesting that these weird ass Mormons in Utah are claiming that they're second cousins to Ben Affleck, and it has <laughs> Affleck, and it has since come out that they're not related at all. So. Courage. Well, and Jen's husband, Zach, is the villain of the show, I think. So I can't wait to meet Have him. Have you seen him? Yes, with his bleach blonde hair. Gary Busey slash yes. Cody Brown. And yeah. he's a freaking gambling addict. I Again, can't wait. how does a young, beautiful woman who's probably making hundreds of thousands of dollars on TikTok, how do you end up with a dork like that? Girl, and apparently he's horrible to her. Like, he abuses mm-hmm. her and shit. So... Can't wait to hate on him. And then Layla, the only thing we get to really know about her is that she's never had an orgasm before. Yeah, she's had two children. She's 22 years old. Like, what the fuck? She has two children, and she's never had an orgasm. So you married some lame-ass, uh-huh. ho-ass, Broke ass. asshole man who, who does not care you. about your pleasure, Mm-mm. does not care that you're having fun doing that, and he's just taking his pleasure and letting you lie there without an... Oh, God, sometimes I hate men so much. I know. I just hate them so much. I know. Well, and they do kind of talk about Mormonism and men and how, like, you're expected to be a pure woman, and then once you get married, you have to, like, turn into a porn star for your man. Like, it's all about the pleasure of the man. There's no, like, sex edumacation. There's, like, no nothing for women. Women just have to please their men. And that's kind of similar in, like, a lot of religions. Like, Christianity is kind of like that sometimes. Yeah, because these are all patriarchal yes. religions that all around the men. center men. Wild. And benefit men. And women are just chattel. We're just property yep. to be used by men. We're just fucking flesh suits. We're masturbatory instruments Ugh. so that they can get off. Gross. This woman has never had an orgasm. Give her a vibrator. For real. She needs one. She was looking at some of those vibrators. She, needs she was it. like, God, sometimes mm. I hate men so much. I know. I've got a great man myself. Yes, you do. And I've been with a series of wonderful men. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But sometimes these men out here, and you're up on Reddit, mm-hmm. and sometimes you're on Am I the Asshole or you're in relationship yeah. advice, and you're reading about these men that exist currently on the planet in their 20s and 30s and they're so fucking lame they're terrible the bar is in hell yep 100%. who taught these men millennials my, my generation probably well also millennials yeah. though i think i think elder millennials are saying, fucking up a lot of people i'm just it's wild yeah that you wouldn't care that your wife gets off okay well and she says that she's scared of it too like she's like mm-hmm. anytime i get close to the, the sensation i'm scared of it i'm yeah. like well it's a, it's That's a so heightened sad full body escalating yeah. energy and so unless somebody's talked to you about it right. and given you some kind of experience anecdotal and or education you're not going to really know yeah it's it's wild well maybe whitney will empower her and give her a little vibrator or i actually hope so i hope so too. layla's my favorite yep because she is a black girl who's mm-hmm. totally entrenched in a white culture, all white, because she went to an all white high school. She brings it up too. She does. And so she's kind of always been othered in yeah. some way. And she's still, to me, trying to fit into this group of girls who uh, are fake do, and do shitty. Do they even like her? She seems like such a sweet person. I know. I'm just like, you in danger, girl. Yep. You need to get out of this cult for real. And then we, speaking of shitty men, We get back to Taylor telling her parents that Dakota and his fentanyl ass is moving into her house. That she bought. That she bought. That she's paying for. Do you think he paid for that? No. No, he didn't. He's Well, did you see the boxes that he's got when he's moving in? It's just three boxes. His knickknacks because he has no furniture. He (laughs) has nothing. He's a loser. It's all her. I love that she tells her parents that he's moving in and then he literally pulls up in the driveway. Yeah. That was so funny. And I love her parents because her parents are like... Oh my God, really? You're going to have this fucking broke ass, dumb ass loser move in? Right. And Taylor, I mean. With your kids and stuff? Well, Taylor's like, yeah, we were having a kid together. Like, we need to raise the kid together. Not really. But I'm like. parent? Yeah, I mean, your parents will probably help you. What's your five year plan with these people? This dumb man. She ain't got it. How does he afford his hair highlights? You know you're paying for it. He's probably yeah. got a manicure and a pedicure. You know you're oh, yeah. paying for that too. You're paying for that truck that he's rolling up in. But he's going to call you a whore though. Yeah. And he's going to tell you what to do and what not to do. Because you are so out of his league that all he knows how to do is try to control you so that you don't leave him. Exactly. He's like so many other men. Yep. Beta. 
Macy sees it. Her parents sees it. We sees He's it. He's not handsome. No. Look, I love me a handsome man, honey. Sure. And I can clock and appreciate a handsome man real time. That's not a handsome man. No, honey. He's got a five incher, maybe. Maybe it's <laughs> needle thin. <laughs> It's a noodle, Needle babe. Thin. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I just don't. I don't understand why such a beautiful girl, who's making all kind of money getting her bag, yep. would want to settle for a dude like that. Well, apparently they broke up. Oh, really? Yo, yeah. Sorry. Fucking good. Side note: This was just a few days ago. Oh my god, good. Taylor is apparently posting crying TikToks. Stop. Super heartbroken, and they have broken up. Why do people film themselves crying? Why? Uh, Why do we need that on the internet? Acute narcissism I on a societal level and also individual level. People are fucking narcissists. And <sighs> social media grooms people, uh, programs people rather, yep. to become narcissistic. 100%. That's why. Yeah. We're we're living in a dystopian society. We really are. Yeah. We really like are. Like a locomotive, we're barreling toward hell. Yeah. <laughs> we're already in hell. <laughs> I mean, it's, this been hell. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 100%. But I'm glad they broke up, though. That's oh, great. Me too. Yes. Thank God. But it, that is so why great. are you crying? I mean. She should be celebrating. Well. She, what? She ruined her life. She got a DV charge from this guy and has a kid with him. Well, I don't know if their life is ruined. That's a sweeping judgment. I mean, she just, she can continue moving, making money. Find yourself another broke loser. There's plenty of them out there, honey. Yeah, go swinging. Hobosexuals wanting <laughs> to move into your house that you pay. Yep. Good for you. Yeah, live your best life, I guess. And then we have Whitney asking her parents and her sister if it's okay if she promotes a vibrator on her Instagram. And the only thing that I thought was interesting was how her mother is like so bad at being a mom. I know. <laughs> She's like, yeah, well, I guess I should have said something to you about sex. And Whitney talks about how on her wedding day and her wedding night, she had no idea what was coming. It was a horror show, she said. Yeah. She had no idea. It was terrible. First of all, your husband's gay. I mean, he yeah. doesn't know what he do He doesn't know what he's doing. He probably was like, oh, can God. I put it in your butt? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my being. Can you put something in my butt? <laughs> So he doesn't know what he's doing. You don't know what no. you're doing. And your dumbass mom never equipped you with the information and the resources that most moms would give their daughters. Well, and the fact because they're Mormons and they don't talk about sex. Oh my God. And the fact that she calls her mom out on that and she's like, Well, but you figured it out though. Like I didn't have to tell you, you figured it out. Just like I did. That is so fucked up. Break the ancestral uh karma. Seriously jesus like how hard is it to tell your kids what sex is but maybe her mom has horrible sex with a gay guy too maybe i mean maybe history repeats itself yes well, well her sister looks like she understands sex yeah <laughs> sorry her yeah. sister who's in the kitchen seems yeah. like she probably has a handle on it well and whitney does tell her mom the only reason why me and connor my gay husband have a good sex life is because of toys and i'm like oh i wonder what toys you guys use butt plugs Ew. butt vibrators pagan prostate oh. um vibrators oh. and everything like that yeah <laughs> she probably, she uh, probably pegs him probably big old strap on honey love it my god we're being so inappropriate <laughs> I apologize. But I mean, they're talking about sex toys on yeah, the show. Yeah, so I mean, absolutely. We're just speculating. That's right. And then we have uh, Taylor's baby shower. Yeah. Which is kind of like the highlight of this episode because Taylor's like talking about how she wants this baby shower to be a fresh start for mom talk. She wants to invite everybody. She wants it to be a big old thing. And most of the girls go. But Whitney's bitch ass stays home mm -hmm. with her gay husband because she's right. not friends with Taylor. Right. Doesn't like Taylor because Taylor's <laughs> reputation is so bad. Wow. Unlike mine, I'm so good and holy right. and great. But Taylor is a swinging hoe. So right. we shouldn't, I shouldn't associate with her. Right. So she's not going to go. So she's pretending that she's offended that <laughs> Taylor outed all these Mormon people for swinging and that she brought a bunch of scandal onto Mom Talk. Although the way that I understand it is that none of these girls here on the show in Mom Talk actually swung or mm, swang sure were swingers i don't know sure but i wouldn't be surprised if they did um but she's using that as an excuse to again try to maneuver herself as t like to be the number one girl in the group yes which isn't going to work by the way no not yeah, at all it's not going to work and so she doesn't go to the baby shower so petty. which is very judgmental mm -hmm. and it seems like it's actually hurtful to taylor yeah she's actually affected by it because whitney had said to layla like the day prior like, oh, she probably won't even notice that I'm not there. But that's like the first thing 
Taylor asks mm-hmm. the group of girls. She's like, where's Whitney? And then Taylor's mom calls Whitney and is like, why the fuck are you here, yeah. bitch? Yeah. That was so good. That was. And Whitney's like, I don't know, you should ask your daughter. It's something I'll have to talk with Taylor about basically just dismissing her mom which is appropriate because it's not the mom's business but it's also really based that the mom called her and called her out i love that i loved that as well that was pretty good Mm -hmm. and then we have preview kind of where it's like the group is kind of divided into sinners and saints according to whitney and i'm sure whitney's gonna be on the saints of course which is so crazy to me yeah because you're married to a whole gay guy (laughs) and then we see zach Affleck and his parents who I guess are super turbo conservative yeah and he's got all these Mormon wives over and they're drinking and stuff right which is so Mormon and conservative yeah and then we have Demi receiving a gift from Whitney that offends her Mm -hmm. a lot and Whitney's laughing about it like a mean girl would but Demi is very offended by it yes which I'm excited for I want to learn more about it I want to know what the gift was enjoying it very much it's very good yeah if you guys um want to watch along with us again this was episode two we're going to be covering episode three maybe three and four maybe maybe three double more up depends. yeah, yeah. Double, double it up um but we are going to continue on the mom talk journey for sure yes ma'am do you want to get into Plathville now yeah okay let's do it